Three years ago, Australia's Men at Work won a Grammy as Best New Artist. That was followed by several more hit singles, and then they became Men at Leisure. Well, after a two-year layoff, the men are back with a hit on the charts, and they're ready to work. These men at work are not your ordinary working stiffs. They burst onto the music scene in 1982 and were immediately hailed for their quirky pop tunes and witty music videos. But it was no mistake to take a two-year hiatus. Since November 1983, we stopped touring. We just needed a needed a break and uh, needed time off to do things that uh, previously for years we took for granted before we became successful. So we had time to uh, write new songs and um, re-establish our identities as people as opposed to just being members of this um, corporate structure. We've been, we've been uh, different parts of the world. I've been wrestling a few sheep. That's right, Greg's become a rancher. You know, feral sheep, they're larger than normal sheep. Mm. Vicious. Carnivorous type sheep. Recorded an album. Um, I wandered around, I wandered around. You know, got drunk with Scottish fishermen in the north of Scotland for a while. It took me a while to get over that. You know, things like that. Earlier this year, Wham! was the first Western band to tour China. In November, Men at Work become the second. I always thought it was a great thing to do. I mean, we've got a fantastic proletarian name. I mean, Men at Work, you know. <laughs> I, uh, I did study Chinese for a number of years, so, uh, you know, I could uh, possibly get out the old books and brush it up and um, create an international incident. Will Wham! be a tough act to follow? No, I don't think so, really. It may be winter down under, but these men at work have finally come out of hibernation with the release of their latest album, Two Hearts, and a single, Everything I Need. Don't expect too many surprises this time out because these men know what works. There are things that are there that connect with the last things, the actual sound uh, of, say, for example, my voice and Greg's sax. Uh, that's a specific sound that people associate with men at work, which is still there, which you can't disguise even if you try. But uh, there's just uh, none of that has been taken away. It's just perhaps the more things have been added. Every hit single needs support. That's what tours do. But men at work don't look forward to the downtime between dates on the tour. You have two or three days off, and it's really silly. You go to some, <laughs> right. you go to some place, you know, in Santa Barbara that's like a retirement farm or something, and you get really depressed because you know there's the only people there. Are, you know, there's nobody under sixty. You know, <laughs> and. Uh, you know, you're better, you're better off just working, that's what you're, that's what you're there for, you know, and uh, instead of just running around in circles. Yeah.